<laughs> Hi everybody, Bill here. No more alarm clocks for me after 53 years I'm retired as of July 1st. You know, I had fun making this video to recognize everyone that's recently retired, going to retire this year, or just dreaming of retiring. I also wanted to send out a sincere thank you to everyone that sent me good wishes for a happy retirement. Well, let's get on with today's video. I wanted to take the new dump trailer out and compare weight to cubic yards. All right, so the first thing we want to do is get out the owner's manual and the window sticker. All right, so looking at the window sticker, the standard truck comes with a 3.08 axle ratio. But I looked on the right side of my sticker and I was surprised to see the truck came with a 3.42 axle ratio. And that was good news for me. It sure was. Take a look at the owner's manual here. That axle ratio says that I can haul 9,100 pound trailer. That's the load in the trailer. But that's 3,000 more than that standard 3.08 axle. And the far right is your gross vehicle weight. So in other words, my truck weighs 6,000 pounds. The trailer's 3,100 pounds. I added the wood sidings, but I took out the ramps. That's 9,100 pounds. So I can haul 5,900 pounds. So it matches the truck very well. So 6,000 pounds is my target. All right, so this is, uh, around here we call it road base. It's a, like a one-inch stone mixed with some crushed fines, so it'll pack well and make a suitable road base. So the operator here told me that each scoop of rock was about a ton and a half. And I said, uh, give me two scoops. That would be three ton or 6,000 pounds. I realize I'm a little bit over, but let's see what it scales out as. All right, we come across the scales with 6,600 pounds. So I set the gain controller to this eight, and that was a good setting coming down the road. When I would step on the brakes, I could feel the trailer kind of nudging the truck first, and it worked out perfectly. The normal operating transmission temperature on this truck is 160 to 200 degrees. So I thought uh, for the five or six mile uh, ride on an 80 degree humid day, everything worked quite well, and we got home safe. All right, this apron here in front of my blacktop driveway is about 40 or 50 feet long, and uh, from time to time it needs a load of uh, rock for maintenance. So that's our goal here today. All right, I was kind of excited to use the uh, remote control, but the instructions I was giving weren't quite accurate. So I called the factory later that day and found out how to uh, use that remote control. And I'm going to set out a separate video just for that in case you have problems with yours. All right, here I'm trying to stretch the cable over to the operator's door, and it's not long enough. And why would it be? If that remote control would work fine, you'd just sit in the front seat, operate it, raise it up, and away you go. So here I'm putting a little tilt on the bed to open up the uh, swing uh, gate there, the dump gate, and ask my wife to use the cable and walk along. Now remember, if, you're, if you have somebody running the cable, they've got to run along with the uh, dump trailer too, otherwise... They'll tear the cable off if they just stand still. So here's my thoughts was I was going to hear the gravel hit the tailgate. And I got the sign from my wife to go ahead and start going forward here in just a second. And then I thought, okay, here I go. But notice the truck is going to skid and the dump trailer brakes are going to stay locked. Now watch. Right there. See the pickup trying to skid? It's my fault. It's operator error. It has nothing to do with the dump trailer. So I watched it twice there for you. Run it twice. Here's what I did. The trailer was so heavily loaded when I backed up into place, I used the trailer brakes on the dash of the pickup to be the main brake. Then when I got in position and my wife said go, I didn't let go of the uh, trailer brakes uh, on my left hand. Well, it's pretty silly, wasn't it? So that's the whole issue there. I was rely. I had so much on my mind for the first time for that first load. Uh, I just I just forgot and held the brakes on. So I thought, well, okay, let's let's get another load. We got to figure this out. We got to get better at this. All right, so we're back down with a second load. This is my second time now with a larger load on it. It's about 6,600 pounds on there. Again, hydraulics take it right up. Real happy with that. Now, when she said go, I was expecting the rock to be up against that gate and really pouring out. It wasn't as far as I thought it was going to be. So 
Um, that's the communication breakdown there. The picture I had in my head, what my wife was thinking was totally different. So, oh, what the heck. We just went ahead and made a decision to dump it all out there in the end of the driveway. I've got the equipment to go ahead and spread it out quite easily. Uh, so w there's some room there for uh, practice, isn't there? <laughs> all right, so we've done a few loads now by weight. Let's go do a load by cubic yards. You'll notice that I put some 2x12 green treated sides on this. Uh, using an application I found online, if I had not put those on there, it looks like the trailer would have held about 5 cubic yards. Add in the sides allows me to get almost 8 cubic yards. Now that would be full of the top like you're, like a cake. You're raking it off the top. I didn't want that. So the 2x12s here are going to work despite adding, uh, they were 50 pounds each board, about 130 pounds uh, because the front one's not as long. All right, so this place has just black gold and uh, this compost that I've used, and you can check that out in other videos, but this is a great one to check out the cubic yards on. Uh, this loader on this tractor, each scoop is three cubic yards, and I wanted to start off with five. Now there's a little strategy here. This stuff weighs about 800 or 900 pounds a cubic yard, so each scoop is Oh, almost 3,000 pounds. So again, I'm going to be between that five and 6,000 pounds. And when you order five, look at him load her up. Boy, I think you're getting close to six. So I, I pay you for five and he doesn't hesitate to load that scoop up and dump her in there, does he? I always enjoy going down here. I go down here uh, once, once a year for sure. And I hope you get there twice. It's like hauling sawdust. So uh, once it gets loaded, you have to uh, tarp it down very well. So I'm glad I have the sides on. Looks like they're going to hold any runoff. And uh, let's get it tarped down and head home. All right, I'll put a video up here you can look at. Uh, the last time I used the mesh tarp, I spread compost about 70 miles. <laughs> so I won't do that anymore. So I really buttoned her up like a Christmas present there and screwed some wood uh, into the uh, wood sides. Pinched that back so it wouldn't uh, blow all over the place. And I think I've really got it secured quite, quite nicely. All right, we're going up the highway. And let's take a look at the uh, engine components here and information. Doing 58 mile an hour. Radiator's uh, good. Got a full load on here. I put the gain at 6.0. Transmission's at 185, so that's all good. And I'm getting 13.2 miles per gallon pulling it. All right, once I got home, the tarp really proved to be effective. I uh, cinched things in, and that tarp just couldn't blow out. Couldn't beat the sides up of the trailer using bungees, so this is really a terrific way to haul this. I ordered a uh, custom uh, canvas for this, and I'm going to be able to do a lot better with that in the future. All right, let's get the doors open here. Boy, it sure is a lot easier than that old uh, dump trailer I used to haul with. Have to pull that up. Those barn doors are so convenient. So just uh, tip it up here, and we'll dump it out and see what we have. I aerate my yard at least once a year with that aerator to the right of the dump trailer. Then I seed it, fertilize it, and I top dress it then with this compost. Uh, if it wasn't for the drought, the golf, uh, the uh, lawn looked like a golf course last year. I was really happy with it. And there was a tragic accident uh, recently around this area where a gentleman raised his dump box into the power lines. And that's why I put that on there. Be sure you know what you're raising your box up into. And the load was a little more wet than I thought. Here I'm trying to hit the brakes and uh, loosen up some of that material. I swear the newer vehicles, uh, you're unable to do that like the older vehicles 20 years ago. I just wanted to show you what I do with this compost, this black gold as I described it. Uh, load it up, throw it onto the uh, top dresser and drag it around the yard. And then uh, after I get it in place or while I'm getting it in place, my wife goes along with a chain link fence. That sets the seed, the fertilizer, and the compost all in those holes, and you end up with a, just a beautiful yard come uh, next spring. With the larger dump trailer, I may start going down there two times a year in the spring and the fall. That would be real nice. That's a convenience of having your own dump trailer. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video on uh, hauling weight and hauling uh, cubic yards. I enjoyed making it for you. Hey, consider subscribing or how about a thumbs up? I'd sure appreciate it. Next videos are going to be on the wireless dump. I think it's just fantastic. And I got to go down and grade that rock out that I left down at the bottom of the driveway. Have a great month, everybody. So long.